I wanted to talk with you about something that has been available throughout many years here at South Hills Elementary School and something that you may have noticed uh, not only when you uh, have walked around upstairs uh, but maybe even during school events in the past uh, where we would have literacy night or math night and that's our uh, scholarship section uh, up here on the second floor and what it says here is our district focus is preparing all students for success that means to be able to do a job the right way in college career and community leadership so what are we talking about with community leadership we're talking about within our community within where we live being able to represent ourselves well in other words that's a good student uh, and then also be able to help out others in the community so what I want to do is I want to focus right here on success in college uh, for now uh, you can see that there are some college pennants up here uh, Baylor uh, University which is a Texas school it is a private institution private institutions private colleges and universities often come with a higher price tag which means they're more expensive but they also usually have more scholarship money to offer uh, and that's what we're talking about right here and a scholarship is money that is awarded to a student to help pay for his or her college education it's money uh, that you can use and you give it to the school and you can buy books pay for classes uh, you can buy meals in the cafeteria there at the college uh, all these different things so uh, over here you have uh, a college a university that's in our city which is tcu texas christian university uh, also a university that i attended and then over here we have texas tech university uh, which is another public university so the order of things here private more expensive Public, less expensive. Private, more expensive. And then public, less expensive. And then right here what we have is a guide to graduation for Fort Worth ISD. So in other words, as a fifth grader, I'm concerned with whether or not I'm preparing myself to do well, uh, not only in college, but also in my career, and then possibly in community leadership and uh, this is going to let you know whether you're on course to do that right over here what we have is unique to our district that's why it's got our fort worth symbol here and that is the fort worth isd list of scholarships which is published monthly uh updated so you'll see new scholarships in march you know compared to what you saw in february so on and so on okay and scholarships are important because a lot of times the cost of college is what holds people back from going to college all right moving right along uh, while in college you have a couple of options you can earn a certificate which means a certification uh, you can earn an associate's degree you can earn a bachelor's degree you can earn a master's degree uh, you can earn a phd you can earn a medical degree you can earn a Juris Doctorate degree, so you become uh, a lawyer and can practice law. So there's a lot of options out there for you. And each option has a different amount of years in which you would have to be in school. So for an associate's degree, you would have to be in school for two years, usually, in order to earn it. I have an associate's degree, and I was in college for a little under two years to earn it. Uh, because I took some extra classes to hurry up. I was uh, trying to speed through and it worked out for me, okay? Uh, a bachelor's degree is four years, all right? And it's the same thing, you're in there and you're learning, but what you're learning takes a little bit more time to complete. And then at the end of that, if you've done what you needed to do, then you earn what's called a bachelor's degree. That's four years. So an associate's degree, two years. A bachelor's degree four years associates starts with the letter a bachelors with the letter B so we can try and help ourselves to remember the order of these degrees and what must be done to earn them by remembering that a 
comes before B. An associate's would come before a bachelor's degree. A, B, C, what I'm saying, it makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense yet, rewatch the video. Uh, look at the notes that I'm gonna share with you so that it begins to make sense. Because whether you're earning an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree, both can help you to get the kind of job that you want. There are people that work here in our school that have an associate's degree. There are others that have a bachelor's degree. There are some that have a master's degree. And then there are some that have like a mix. So they have maybe a, an associate's degree and a bachelor's degree or a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. And then you have some people here that have a bachelor's degree and are currently in school, in college, at university, trying to earn a master's degree. So there's a lot going on when it comes to education, okay? Associates, two years. Bachelors, four years. Associates, A. Bachelors, B associates, bachelors, okay? So when I ask you in the hall, how many years it takes to earn an associate's degree, the answer should be two. If I ask you how many years it takes to earn a bachelor's degree, then the answer should be four. If you're able to learn some of the things that I'm telling you about preparing for college and community leadership in your career, then I'm going to reward you when you answer correctly because life is going to do the same thing. If you are able to learn the skills uh, that I am teaching you in regards to planning your college and your career, then you will be rewarded with a better opportunity to get a job that you enjoy, to earn money, and to pay for those things that matter. All right, so as a review, associates, bachelors, associates, two years, bachelors, four years okay now there are some other uh, things available to you too uh, so for example uh, when I graduated from high school I decided not to go to college right away I didn't go right away stay tuned and I'll tell you what I did and how it is still in line with preparing ourselves for success in careers and community leadership even though I skipped college for just a little bit. USMC counselor.